Hi all, welcome, Cynthia here. Today I'm working on a 12x12 process layout. I recently went to a crop, my very first crop ever, woohoo! Um, and I followed Nicole Jones's method of bagging up some page layouts. Um, so, and here's a couple that I have left over. So I'm doing these two photos um, of um, our boy and a couple of his friends. We went to the botanical garden on his birthday. It was one of the things that we did anyway. So I'm just going through the papers that I pulled to see what I can make work. So I thought I might try to use this uh, wood grain piece of paper. Um, for the full strip across the page but I fiddle fart around for a little while to see what I can come up with really like this um, stars as well so I want to try to get that on the page and can't quite decide whether I want to make the layout go horizontal or whether I want to go vertical but I do like the way that photo, that bottom photo there overlaps the top photo so I think I will go that way. So in my bag I had these clouds, I think most of the papers here come from the Chamel Starshine collection. So this paper, the star paper and that green background paper are from that collection. Um, whereas the brown piece of paper is just from my stash. This three was also in the paper, one of the papers, it was the cut apart page. So I've just cut it out, I thought I might use it because there's three of them. Um, but it doesn't make it in the end. Quite looks looks all right there, but I didn't actually use it there in the end, whereas I probably could have. So just using some of those little off cuts, trying to use them up, so what I can do with them. Quite like the clouds. I think the clouds, the the blue, the white, and the teal really match this background paper and the star paper, obviously because they're from the same collection. So I cut out a bunch of clouds. Clouds don't really have anything to do with this layout, other than that they're outside. It was a lovely sunny day on this particular day. Now I'm going through. I'd already pulled out some pieces from my stash that I thought might go with this um, page and I have these two uh, trees here and the middle parts of them pop up so they have a little bit of dimension. Um, I thought I'd put those on the page as we are at the Botanical Gardens. That top tag said um, happy birthday so even though the page typically doesn't look like it's a birthday page it was on his birthday that we went there so I thought oh yes I'll pop that up there as well among the clouds and now I'm just going through to see what else I can come up with quite like this little tag um, so I fussy cut around that it's a bit of a signpost that has some um, directions on it can't remember all the directions things like go and explore and see and do something like that I think so I'm sure you can probably see it so I fussy cut that out and end up putting it right there I think I tried in a few different locations but it comes back to that spot Seeing what else I can make work I've got this um, what are they called? Viewfinder disc type thing. The colours are very similar. That was a, one of the cutter parts that come with my kit from the Kitaholic Kit Club that month, um, along with the wood veneer pieces. And they're also a part of the kit that I received. Um, so I just put those play ones there and add that little arrow. Got a couple of little arrows up the top 
a couple of stars around the page and that is really it this was a super quick layout for me I don't think I've ever done a 12 by 12 layout that was so quick um, so I guess there obviously is something in the putting together a, a kit program a kit page I should say because it certainly made it nice and quick for me popping up the center of these trees just to give it some dimensions I get the hot glue gun out glue it all down write a little bit on the tags there a lot of the photo just about the day and that is it nice quick simple layout thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it even though it went very quickly give it a thumbs up if you did and i shall catch you on the next video once again thanks bye